You've been on my mind I grow fonder every hey day guys. Hey. Losing myself in time Look what I got in, finally Yeah, fans tours Let's we'll take a quick look at this This will hopefully be a short um, Everyone's seen this character before But I, this is the first time i ever had it I've been wanting this character for a long time um, if you remember my little spiel about Nate's Toys and Collectibles, I'm going to make sure I don't say the other guy's name, the toy guy, Nick or something. So, yeah, this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. I now have two fans toys ones. I have that other one up, Sludge or um, whatever, Stomp. And it's just, a, you know, this is going to be pretty good. Looking forward to it. Hey guys, still getting situated. Just got my figure in here. Um, older figure, fans toys face figure, but a figure that I, I wanted like stomp for a long time. And it's the only other fans toy figure that I really wanted as far as the Dinobots concerned. And this is us, uh, AKA Snarl, <sighs> AKA fans toy sever. And um, it's like I said, got some wrapping in there to protect it. Um, this is, like I said in my preliminary um, talk um, before the video started, this was what I was supposed to get. Paid 254 from Nate's Toys and Collectibles. And it finally, I had it ordered like months ago on uh, uh, Amazon Japan. And what happened was they, I ordered it. And I put, I submitted my card for it, and they didn't even, um, and they didn't have it in. <laughs> so I said, okay, so I never did get my order fulfilled. But they kept it, and I just left it alone. And they finally got one in at whatever store on Amazon it was, and they just sent it right out, charged, and then billed me then. So they have a good system. I mean, they, they didn't bill me until they actually had it. So that's great. I mean, it came quick. I mean, as soon as they billed me, it came like within a week. I mean, I that's amazing. <laughs> from coming from Japan, that's amazing. So we're gonna take a look at this guy. I just want to take a quick short to it and look at all the aspects. It's so far, it does not. Hmm, good, it has these. That's a little loose. So far, it does not disappoint. So do a little quick look, feel, uh, mechanics on it, and I might bring Stomp up here to compare with it. Maybe even some Giga Power ones. Because this would be my last fans toys that I plan on getting. I was debating on... I was debating on a swoop. Fans toys swoop for a long time. I have the Gigapower one, which is still superior. And, and I mean, for the most part. But I still like the look and the face scope of the old one. But I just kept looking at it. I kept watching. I kept watching old videos on it. And I just said, I just can't bring myself around to getting swoop. Um, so I'm going to stay with what I got here. And... And just go from there. Because actually, Snarl and Swoop were the last Dinobots created um, that went and battled the other ones when they were getting off key with Megatron temporarily. And it was nice to see Swoop and Snarl come in and and uh, even up that score on that show and then bring the Dinobots back to their senses. So that was kind of cool to see. And we'll get to have a little quick sure i just said a little short showed a little video on that so yep yeah, give you guys we'll get into it yep so i thought i'd show this before before i get too deep into the look and everything that you know the giga power swoop is <laughs> humongous humongous it's actually bigger than <laughs> snarl which you know the bots should be uh, the big dinosaur should be bigger naturally than the um, 
the bird, the bird man over there. But I'm I'm cool with it. I mean, to me, they're, they're roughly the same size, and and I can grab stomp up here next next view. And now I got stomps um, up here with the rest of them. And um, just to show, it's more skill, a little more. I don't know if that helped or not, but. Just to try to give a little more sense of scale to these guys. I don't mind. You know, of course, these these two are in scale, a snarl and stomp. But um, you know, we're, we're a little out of scale with um, with Swoop over here from Giga Power, but that's okay. It's not such a bad scale to me, nonetheless. It's, of course, the fan story Swoop would be a little shorter. But I feel like that's, that's doable. You know, I got my five Dinobots back. And uh, the primary focus on this video is still him, so we'll we'll get to it here in a here in a minute. But just had to take a look at those standing together real quick. You know, they still roughly are sized pretty good. So I'm not. Yeah, swoop it, swoop is big, but I, I'm 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 okay with it because yeah, because the animation is not gonna matter. I can resize them however I want. So cool. So before I um transform these up i just want to take a look at the figure i got stomp still out here with them i still got some of the wrappings in on here i haven't done anything i did look at a quick video earlier just to remind myself how to transform this guy and i i saw that it's a very cool transformation it's a very unique transformation i mean fans toy stood out with these dinobots early on uh, one thing i want to point out from the accessory standpoint uh i guess you have an extra face here um, there's an extra face, mean face, I guess. And then there's some extra parts here. And I'm quite honest, I don't know where those parts go right off the top of my hand. Head, I mean. Um, this looks like uh, eye color. Yeah, from red to, you guys blue in there. And this red eye color. Maybe this, these pieces at the end, I don't know what these are. These special shaped, they probably go on the edge of something. I'll have to figure that out later. Maybe now, I don't know where they go. But um, I noticed that, you know, when I got these, you know, the lights come on. So they already have batteries in them. Cool. Because Giga Power, you have to put batteries in all of them. And some some of the guns I have for Giga Power um, did not work. So it's kind of cool that um, these come already with, with batteries in it. I think anything you pay $200 for, this one costs more because it's very rare to get i don't want to even say what this is probably the most expensive one believe it or not to get this thing right now is probably one of the most or the most expensive other than the set of aerial bots i got from zeta this is probably the most one of the most expensive figures i pay for um and i'm really gonna pay above 200 dollars or plus for a figure except for the stickers i got um, because they were kind of special to me in my lineup, but this one was unusually, and but I got it. I know it's gonna pay it off in, in sections, so it, it worked out. Then instructions in the card here, um, pretty good, you know, deal there. And uh, I did want to mention those accessories before I transformed it, but just a general look and feel of this. Um, I can put a picture on the screen, and we can just see for ourselves the look of it. I really wasn't gonna get into far the, the look of. I think the animation model looks a little more animated, you know, the face and the chest kind of slants and it just looks different than this. This guy to me looks a whole lot better than the animation model. So I didn't want to get too deep into looks because I think all of them like Stomp here does a great job of looking like their G1 counterparts. I put the sticker here and I wish it was a more white background this color. I think it would stand out better. I'm to find white back background on these because they have kind of a transparent um, chest and I don't like figures when they have transparencies in their build like on the chest especially so i didn't know i didn't think about that and when i got stomping this i just there's so many other good qualities with them so i'm not going to worry about it but i definitely have to get a white background all about logo for those um and let's see so as far as uh the feel of this this is heavy, but it's not like, it's because it's big and it's heavy, but it's not overly, it's not heavy, heavy. Actually, I think Stomp is, they're about the same. Yeah, I think actually Stomp, I think Stomp is heavier. Somebody's got a little more die cast than Stomp. This is, um, comparably to the figures like Galvatron, Fans Toys Galvatron and all that, this is not a, 
this is not as heavy or anywhere near as heavy as a figure like that. And it's, it's got a, it's, it's more on the, it's hard to say. It, it's in the middle as far as, you know, it feels good. It feels great. It's in the middle. And I'm going to do a quick articulation check. I mean, I know these, the, the transformation really, really is great on this where you can move a lot of stuff out the way and, and, and fold things out. But um, I know that this goes all the way around. I'm not going to go all the way around with that. I know it goes out. You know, I know the fingers are individually articulated and they're very stiff right now because it's brand new, even when you turn it. So it's, it's you know, elbow joint. That's about as far as you're going to get as 90. But it's very, very articulative so far. Up, down, left, right. Yes, yeah, the head moves great. I mean, sorry, I didn't know if I showed it a lot on screen, but, you know, up and down. It, it does a good job of moving all over the place and angles all over the place. So great head scope probably on all of them. And... And as, as all of these, they got flaps on the all over the place where you can lift up and, you, and the legs pretty much, there's no problem. Not full Van Damme, but, you know, plenty, plenty there, plenty of range there. And let me watch out because I don't want to mess something up due, due to the transformation itself. And, uh, you know me, I don't like taking stuff out until I'm ready to transform it for the first time. So I like keep, I like that new appeal. But that's about as far you're gonna get with that and backwards. Ooh, it goes way, way far back than I expected. And good ratchets there. Strong, heavier, heavier ratchets for the most part. I think outward is friction. And I was gonna say something. I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. I don't think you, you don't get a lot of tilt on these. A little bit, a little tilt. A little tilt on that, nothing the other way, and up and down. A little bit up, but a little bit up and nothing down. And that's about it. That's mechanics. You know, that's it pretty much on that for that. For that deal. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say earlier concerning this thing, but I plum forgot. So I'll probably get to transformation here. This is a very cool, unique transformation. Um, I think TM Reviews did a good job of transforming it a few years ago. Oh, I was going to say something about these flaps. You know, I, this is a piece that covers up when it transforms into, into robot mode, how it covers up the opening. But I feel like... Um, it, it just, they wish they were a little stiffer. It just, they just psh, flop. So, don't like that. QC sticker means something there. So, all right, get to transforming this thing up and uh, go from there. Okay, guys, I'm back with the. Uh, Transforming Sever, aka Snarl. Um, been a few days. I've been busy this week, so I've not been quite quick. This video has been spaced out quite a bit over the last week. Um, I have some prejudices I'm going to reveal <laughs> in a few minutes, and um, I transform this up. It's not perfect. I, some just, and it's like a, I remember other um, reviewers saying how this is like a uh, you know, we, we have our fingerprint magnet, uh, th this kind of chrome, yellow gold chrome is very fingerprint magnet. So it gets, it's got a lot of fingerprints on it. You have to keep wiping it off to use it. But I've had the good, the giga power one. I'm getting into my prejudices and I've had the, the metallic version of it. I didn't have the chrome version like I do now of, of Grimlock. I might, I think I've got them down before. I might get this other one down shortly of let me get that one down real quick so it'll be right next to it and this is a snarl i mean oh this is a <laughs> not snarl this is giga powers version of um uh what's his name um you know the mean one a uh, slag snarl slag snarl sludge slag whatever um and even though they're bigger a little bit they still are comparable with each other but I've had the metallic version. This is a chrome version of Giga Power the Excellent. Um, there's there's a few stability issues in op, in this alt mode that I'm, I'm not crazy about. But for the most part, um, you know, I got XTB Springer behind it and the, another fan's toy sludge. And I'm very pleased with with. I think I made the right decision when I picked the ones out of fan's toys that I wanted compared to the gigs. The gigs I got slag, I got Grimlock, and I got Swoop. But when I saw the Snarl 
and the sludge and fans toys, I think I, and I'm not bragging, I, you know, sorry if I seem like I am, I made the right decision. I think this guy. I've had the okay. I had the metallic version, not the chrome version of of Snarl on the Giga Power side, and I sold him because he broke. Because it's a common leg issue, um, leg joint issue, hip issue, and I am glad I did that because um, I saw these videos over and over again. I watched so much on these two, and I just saw no fault in them when I have them. I, I noticed how superior to me, and I mean even in the joints sounding <laughs> aspects of them how superior to me this is than the previous snarl that i had from giga power it, it, it just is and that's good that's good too i like this from here i don't know why it's not so stable in the the hind legs when you when you come to i'm glad i got this down as an example that they do fall short in some ways, as ex as great as the Giga Power ones are, and you know, there's no to me, like I said, when it comes to Grimlock, I don't, I have them down here. I don't know if I'm gonna get them up, but when it comes to Grimlock, there's there's no better Grimlock than a Giga Power Grimlock. I, that's my opinion. I, I know you guys don't have to agree, but I am I am prejudiced. I, I, am, I have to I have to agree that, and maybe I'm using the wrong words here. So don't take me seriously. Um, that I made the right choices with these two. Those are the two. I'm, I'm even tempted to get a swoop, but I know the, the Giga Power swoop is just superior. Um, but but I don't think I would be I, if I saw the the only way I would get a swoop on fans towards if I really saw it go down quite a ways in price from 200 to like maybe 150 or under. And they have a lot of extra ones, and I see it, I might grab it. I might grab it off of Shozy or wherever I see it pretty cheap. Uh, it's, it's gone down to like 179 or something. I just. Was convinced I wasn't going to get it, but these two I waited a long time to get, and I'm glad I got them. So, with no further ado, you know, we, we got into a little bit of the mechanics here, and the look is excellent. You know, the feel, you know, just as great as any of the other Dinobots. The, the Dinobots Giga Power fans, so you really can't go wrong no matter which ones you decide to get. You really can't go wrong. Um, any other points I wanted to make with this? This is a long segment. Uh, maybe I'll just get to my final thoughts, but those are pretty much my final thoughts there too. Not much to say else, really. Uh, when it comes to price here, I wasn't gonna get too far into this. I know I paid probably around 320 or $330 for this. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen. If not, it's just not gonna appear on the screen. And even though there's some places here I probably need to tighten up and get pushed in better on Snarl, it, the, it was kind of worth the wait. And, it, and, and like I said, this weight took a long time to get to this point to even get one of these, you know, at least with the a Giga Power that you got that little outward stretch on the legs. This one doesn't really have much of a, if it does, I'm not using it right and I don't want to break it. So you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I know the, the hind legs do. Good sounding ratchets. And it's funny, the, the front legs here are like the hind legs here. You know, the front legs here on Giga Power Slag, they go out with a good ratchet. But only the hind legs here go out with a good ratchet on Snarl. But they got the ratcheting, you know, pivot points here. And then, you know, this one doesn't have a ratchet at all on the hind legs. This is just wobbly. That's why I don't like it. It, it needs to, it should, they should have went ahead and finished it, you know, and made it more st stable. So, wow. Um, yeah, not a whole lot else to say. You know, pretty good size Dinobot there. Um, very fun to... To, to be able to finally mess with it. Um, like I said at, earlier in the video, Amazon lost my, they didn't have it when I ordered it. I had to wait, at least they didn't charge me until they actually got it in and then they immediately charged my credit card and they, they sent it to me within a week. So very pleased with that. Very pleased with that, you guys. Um, I know this is kind of a throwback, but you know, just thought I'd give my thoughts on it. You guys have a great weekend. Pray for me as I pray for you. Be blessed and take care.